Okay, this one will be an interesting one. See if we can make it look any good. Hundred and forty one point four. This one's a glossy one, so I'm thinking we might be able to get away with adding a background colour. Gonna use cyan. Okay, let's see what we have to demo with. We have here David Jones, the 2019 Christmas gift guide. We're going to photocopy that picture here. So yeah, this is a, another one of the many Christmas catalogs and shit that you get from these um, department stores or this, in this case, a really fairly upmarket sort of department store such as David Jones which is what this one is too expensive for my cup for my for my uh, intents and purposes too expensive for most for most of my purchases I don't have a lot of money like that to spend on the likes of David Jones but that looks quite nice so yeah David Jones I think we're going to, I'm wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be there. So, but basically, yeah, it's all about making money. Christmas is just such a huge money-making rort when you think about it. And people are so gullible listening to the advertisements, and what they're preaching. You know, it's really like a religion in itself, capitalism. It is. It's like a religion, folks. <laughs> if you hate religion, you should hate capitalism, folks. It's the worst fucking religion there is on earth. Uh, of course, I wouldn't... I don't know what's worse, because terrorism is a terrible thing, right? You see... You watch it on the news, you see people have died, right? But capitalism is a silent killer. You know, like, like terrorism... <sighs> Capitalism can kill as well when all the big companies control everything and people become poor and hungry and thirsty. Well, people die, more people die of capitalism than they do of the odd terrorist attack. Not, not, you know, of course, 9-11 was a huge attack. Don't let me take, take away. Don't let me take away from how bad that was. But basically, capitalism is a more silent killer. And maybe those people who who slammed the planes into 9-11, into the buildings on 9-11, might have just been so sick of fucking capitalism that they were just getting desperate. No, no reason to do it, of course. I agree. I don't think I don't condone that sort of behaviour. You know, terrorism isn't isn't a way of dealing with capitalism, but you, you gotta sort of see the motive behind it and see that capitalism contributed to that, perhaps. Because it just made the poor countries really angry. And these poor countries, people are more likely to be radicalised. So, you know. But of course, it was a terrible thing that happened on 9-11. I mean, I love, I'd love to go to the USA one day. Uh, I'm actually a, a, uh, a US-Australian uh, dual national because of my... I was born on American soil and my parents were both born in Australia so I've got a real privilege of having the ability to travel to places like the USA really easily because of my dual national status uh, I'm very p privileged so yeah I do want to see New York I love New York even without actually seeing it I feel a spiritual connection to that place so I do feel it's sad that that 9-11 shit happened but you've got to examine what's what's possibly behind it why did they do it you know was it because of capitalist 
capitalism and the oppression that it causes. I don't know. You know, I'm not... I, I can't tell for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if capitalism can, contributed to it. Yeah, so, you know, what can I say? Um, you don't have to agree with me, folks. It's just my opinion. One of my... Uh, what do you call it? Two cents worth of... Uh, talking about something interesting or potentially interesting, whatever, a conversation starter, perhaps. Anyway, let's see how this looks. This looks quite interesting. Yeah, I think now we can call this demo quits.